My name is Rongo Nduati. I am the current principal of the High Secondary School. Uh, I joined uh, this school in uh, January of 2020. So I came during COVID. Highway Secondary School is a school that is uh, full of talents. Uh, just a little history, started in uh, 1962. It was basically supposed to be for the Asian community. Together with uh, Jamuri High School, uh, they were supposed to be the two Asian schools. And uh, for the girls, it was Ngara girls. But then over time uh, that changed and the Africanization came, a number of Africans joined and uh, for many, many years it was a day school. Uh, it was established on a, a platform of uh, talent development. We have big fields uh, where we can uh, participate, we can play all types of sports and therefore we have taken it upon ourselves to develop uh, the talents in the school. We don't just develop sporting talents, we also do uh, art. Looking back at uh, some of the performances in the uh, 1970s, late 1970s, going all the way to 1982, mm -hmm. the school was doing well, very well in soccer. Uh, they were able to go to the nationals, the last time being 1982. And then in 1982, things changed a bit and they concentrated a lot more on uh, the academics uh, side uh, without the balance of uh, the sporting uh, aspect. The sporting aspect produced quite a number of uh, footballers in this country, in the likes of Austin Oduol, Bramwell Mwololo, uh, Ando Dorigi, and you also have quite a number who are in the other sports and who are doing extremely well. Uh, in terms of art, I think the best known will be uh, Ovira Daniel, who was here and uh, became the son of the president because of his artistic exploits. This year the best footballer in Kenyan secondary schools and even in East Africa is a student from uh, Highway Secondary School called Lennox Kimani who is a form for boy. To a large extent we nurture talents and we believe in uh, producing an all-round student. So that's why you'll find out that uh, in the civil service we've produced quite a number of uh, renowned people. Uh, the uh, former immediate former head of public service, a distinguished civil servant in this country, Mr. Dr. Joseph Kenya, was a student here in uh, 1972 and uh, did very well. Uh, Mr. Muragori Nicholas was also a student in this school, former PS Lands. Dr. Kibicho, Karanja Kibicho, was also a student in this school. Uh, Dr. Sunak, because uh, he's a uh, doctor. Uh, was here in 1966. He left the school in 1966. His older brother, who is also a Dr. Sunak, was the head boy in 1965. So the father to the current uh, uh, premier of the UK was actually a student here in 1966. And that is actually something to be very, very proud of. He went through uh, this same school. He lived here in South Bay uh, before, of course, he moved over to the UK. And uh, the uncle, uh, Harish, came to visit the school uh, sometime last term. And uh, he was very excited at that point that his nephew was likely going to become the prime minister. We have uh, taken that by challenging ourselves that nothing is impossible. That it's possible for you to get the same education, the same discipline, and go on to produce uh, the top leader, a top leader in this world. So as a uh, highway secondary school, we're very proud of uh, the roots that uh, the UK Premier has, and we are telling the youngsters that they can go on and become whatever they want in this world. Uh, some of these old boys, the ones who were here in the 1960s, 1970s, 1980s, and even the younger ones, keep coming back and uh, talking to the boys, doing mentorship, and uh, some of them have given back quite substantially uh, to the school. So we look forward to having the Prime Minister visit, mm -hmm. uh, perhaps come and see where his father went to school. And uh, so that would be a good thing if he's able to come and visit us. Mm -hmm. I've talked to the uncle, and uh, when I talked to the uncle, they said, of course, now his uh, um, desk is full. There are a lot of things. But uh, eventually, when he settles down, he, the father will 
definitely visit this school. And perhaps the premier may also visit uh, if he ever ha happens to visit Kenya.